Brentech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So for the second month now in a row, Google is now rolling out their early stable release of the next version upgrade for the Chrome web browser version 111, which is now available for a small percentage of users. And with the majority of people, including myself, I'm getting the release uh, next week. That will be the following week. So as you can see, I'm still on version 110, like most of you will still be. And Google is only rolling out this um, early stable to a limited subset of users. And um, if we just head over to the calendar quickly, this early stable started rolling out on the 1st, which was yesterday in my region, late yesterday in my region. And we should get the official release of version 111 starting next week, Tuesday, the 7th of March 2023 and that will be at the normal scheduled date next week. Now just to do a quick recap regarding the early stable, basically um, Google are making this change to monitor the release before it rolls out to all users. So that's just, just, just to iron out any bugs before they roll out the next version to the general public and I have posted in detail on this previously. And um, when version 111 rolls out, it will be bumped up to 111.0.5563 Point fifty, and that will be for Windows and Mac users. Now, um, just to go through some of the expected new improvements and changes that will be rolling out, and this is by no means a, compre a comprehensive list, just to give you a general idea, and this list is obviously subject to change because this official rollout hasn't started yet. It's only happening next week. Now, I have posted on each of these new features and improvements, so if you want more info on each of these, just do a search on the channel. Now, the first is picture-in-picture -picture mode. We are going to be getting some major improvements to the PIP picture-in-picture -picture mode, which, as many of you will know, if, we, if you are using YouTube as an example, you can just uh, enter picture-in-picture, -picture and that places that in a smaller window. Now, as I have mentioned in a previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, Google are testing a new document in picture in picture. So this could still be hidden behind an experimental flag when version 111 does roll out. And what this does is the website can provide custom controls and inputs that will also provide new useful video conferencing controls to improve your picture in picture video experience. And some of these examples of those improvements would be um, like a scrollable playlist from your music streaming service, as an example, custom media controls, and also a timer, believe it or not. Now, the next um, new improvement we could expect in version 111, just to mention this quickly, are smoother page transitions for web apps, PWAs. And um, this is apparently being shipped with a new view transitions API that Google started testing back in Chrome version 104. And what this will do in a nutshell, it'll make it easier for developers to add smooth transitions between individual web apps. So that's what uh, that is all about. Um, uh, smoother page transitions for your web apps in version 111. And you'll also be able to see how many files you're downloading at the same time if you are using Chrome on desktop. And um, I can show you how this looks uh, in the Chrome Canary version because obviously I haven't received the update yet. And this could still be hidden behind an experimental flag. And just to demonstrate, if we head to the download hub and bubble in Chrome Canary, and um, when you are doing multiple downloads, you will see each of those downloads listed in the actual dialog for the download bubble and hub, which at this stage, though, I think would still be hidden behind an experimental flag. And then... Um, just to go through the last one, and it's really to do with the safety check tool. And I also posted on this just a maybe a week or two ago. So if we head to the settings, privacy and security, safety check. Um, what's going to happen now is the browser will automatically remove and revoke permissions from unused websites. So just to mention that more in detail, uh, if you haven't visited a website for the last two months, um, the browser now um, will automatically revoke and remove per permissions for those websites. So that's basically just a, a bit of a security enhancement um, just to keep things a lot more safer and secure in the browser. And uh, um, that will mean if you do do a safety check, um, it will also detail which permissions have been removed and revoked from your website. So um, you can always just click on the safety check tool, check now, and that will tell you how many uh, permissions and detail which permissions have been revoked for any individual website that hasn't been used within two, the last two months. And that's just a quick overview of what to expect. 
um, we can um, expect to see the normal um, security updates roll out, which is quite normal for any major release. And as mentioned, that's Chrome version 111. And um, as mentioned, the stable early release was rolled out um, on the 1st of March, and we can expect to see the official release roll out sometime starting the 7th next week. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.